Assalamu alaikum and a very warm welcome to this short video. I am Junaid, uh, currently working at Mathematics Department, Comsearch University, Islamabad. Previously, I have worked for Lancaster University, University of Liverpool, both in England, and Heidelberg University in Germany. During my PhD studies at Cambridge, I have also worked for Cambridge Assessment. We used to mark Cambridge step exam papers. These are like entry exam papers that A-level students take if they wish to study mathematics at Cambridge University. Imperial College London and University of Warwick, they also require students to take these exams if they want to do a mathematics degree. I was also part of a project led by Dr. Stephen um, at Mathematics Department, University of Cambridge. We used to provide training and supervision to local A-level students uh, and prepare them for Cambridge step exams. These were the students who uh, wished to study mathematics at Cambridge University. This was my introduction. Um, what I want to talk to you about today is the A-level course, Further Mathematics. It's a great course and the contents are very interesting and very useful from a university teaching perspective. My uh, students who wish to secure uh, admission and scholarship for their studies abroad I recommend them to start their preparation for entry exam papers uh, by going through this course. It's, it's, a, it's a great course. I'm often asked, is mathematics a science or a philosophy? Well, it's both. It depends how you read it and how you use it. For example, you've all done integration. You can use a particular substitution to solve an integration problem. So that's a scientific approach. But thinking how that particular substitution works, what's the reason and logic behind it, that's the philosophical side of the subject, that's the philosophical side uh, of the topic. Now, you are in the final years of your college and you have university education left before you start working in your uh, career. When you are in the real life, you have to solve problems that not only requires your techniques, but they also require the philosophical knowledge of the subject. Based on my teaching experience um, at university, at university we are required to prepare students for their career, for the practical life. So we get students from colleges, they have done matric or FSE or they have done O levels and A levels, and we have to prepare them so they can be a good contributor when they go and start their jobs. Now students come to us with good knowledge of the technique but they have no or very little knowledge of the philosophical side of the subject. Now I have been teaching at Comsearch University for past six or seven years and I have seen students struggle. Some students struggle with the basic techniques but then there are students who are good at techniques but then they lack philosophical understanding of the subject. Now that's the area where, which causes students to underperform. Because at university, teaching is very fast paced compared to uh, your college studies. At college, you just have an annual exam. Uh, so you have a whole year to prepare and then you go in the annual examination. And often the college conducts some uh, occasional assessments. At university, you have four assignments and then you have four or more quizzes. You have uh, one midterm or two sessionals and then you have a final exam paper and all this has to be completed uh, in six months so you th there is less time to uh, work on your deficiencies from uh, the college mathematics although you have uh, help uh, and supervision available from your university teachers but it is very challenging you, you'll have to work really hard if there are any deficiencies in your college level mathematics at university, we expect that students who are taking these mathematical courses, they'll have a certain background knowledge. And if you don't have that background knowledge, then you will struggle during the course. So that, that, that's the lacking of background knowledge is the main reason for students uh, to underperform in these courses. Now, this particular course, Further Mathematics, you have done your A-level mathematics. Um, those are some good courses. They introduce you to techniques of the mathematical uh, methods and uh, mathematics you, you have good understanding of the techniques uh, of the techniques and the mathematical methods but this particular course will also introduce the philosophical side of the subject and that's the thing that you need to work on before you start studying mathematical courses at university 
Now, if you look at the contents of further mathematics, um, it has sections covering further pure mathematics, further statistics, and further mechanics. In further pure mathematics, you have topics like roots of polynomial equations, uh, rational functions, series, matrices, polar coordinates, vectors, and proof by induction. All these topics are very relevant in university mathematics courses such as calculus, uh, differential equations, numerical computation, numerical analysis, and operations research. There are probability and statistics section um, in further mathematics which covers the topics that will help you in uh, the, not only the mathematical subjects but also in subjects such as data sciences and operations research. So the contents wise it's a great subject and all these topics are the topics that are available that are present in the university mathematical courses. They are present in advanced form where you will be looking at some uh, high level techniques or you will be looking at the philosophical side of these uh, topics. So if you have done this course, you have a better chance to perform compared to those students who haven't done this course. This course will not only improve your techniques of mathematical uh, methods and topics, but it will also give you a good understanding of the philosophical uh, side of the subject. You will understand what's the reason and logic behind these techniques that have been developed. And these are the things that will help you perform better at university courses. And if you were to go abroad, these courses will help you there as well, um, even in the entry exam papers, because most of the contents are similar, but the questions are different. So you are probably good at solving textbook questions, but then if the questions are changed slightly, and then you'll have then you'll, you'll probably struggle with those questions if you do this course this will give you a good practice of your technique but will also introduce you to the conceptual understanding of the subject so i recommend you to take this course because this will help you not only in uh, preparing for the entry exam papers but also when you are at university in pakistan or abroad these courses will help you in preparing for the mathematics courses that you will take if you uh, wish to study uh, maths at university level or physics or if you do a degree in computer science or engineering there will be many mathematical courses such as calculus numerical computation differential equation uh, numerical analysis operations research data sciences and many more so if you are doing a if you are planning to do uh, a degree in mathematics, physics, computer science, engineering, um, maybe uh, finance or economics, this subject will help you prepare for the mathematical courses that you will be taking at university level. In university, if you are doing a maths degree, then you have mathematical courses all through your degree in all the eight semesters but if you are doing a degree in physics or computer science or engineering you have mathematical courses good four or five mathematical courses in the first three or four semesters and in some degrees you are given an advanced mathematical courses in the sixth or seventh semester so if you go through further mathematics this will better prepare you uh, for the mathematical courses that you will be studying at university and you have a better chance uh, to perform at uh, university mathematical courses. So I recommend you to uh, definitely take this course if you are interested in uh, studying mathematics, physics, computer science or engineering, uh, even finance and economics in your university. In, in the end, I would say um, whatever course you take, or whatever uh, subject you study at university, whatever career path you take, just give it your best. Work hard and make sure whatever you do, you are best at it. Give it your best, work hard and make us all proud. Thank you very much.